a thirst trap. I'm Rebecca Lieb. I'm Jason Horton. And this is Ghost Town. In May and June 2015, some customers of Sobe started voicing their concern after finding Help Me trapped in Sobe factory under the lids of some of their bottles. Just to let you know where we're at in this episode already, we went and looked to make sure you get the <laughs> pronunciation of Sobe or Sobe and watched two very painful, cringe, cringeworthy commercials. Dated. Oh. Naomi Campbell's dancing, and there's lizards yeah. doing the thriller dance. <laughs> CGI and lizards sipping Sobe. Trying to connect, trying to fight and claw their way in the war of the drinks, mm -hmm. the, the great drink war. That's right. And if you're thinking, oh, yeah, I remember this drink. Mm -hmm. You're right. You are thinking, oh, yeah, That's, I remember this. It was everywhere. It, and it hasn't been that long. It hasn't I been that say. long. It came on strong. Oh, and then all yeah. of a sudden, it doesn't seem to be part of the conversation as much anymore. No. And I wonder if the Sobe factory hoax of 2015 may have had something to do with it. A little bit of background on Sobe. It was born in 1996 in Connecticut, now headquartered in Miami. Just oh. let you know it, it had to grow up big time. Yeah, up and south. Connecticut just couldn't contain it anymore. No, not that kind of flavor. The last tweet from Sobe from the Twitter account was almost exactly five years ago today. They last tweeted in December 2016, and that was it. There's, mm -hmm. there's still a website. They still exist. Mm -hmm. That's when we're recording this, by the way. And they had many, many flavors, mm -hmm. life water, all kinds of energy things, donning lizards to yeah. give you this like earthy, elevated exactly. thing. And it's all garbage. Like yin yang. Like it reminded me of Arizona iced tea and its aesthetic, but like more like 90s desert. Like everything's a part of life. Co-opting indigenous peoples if we're really getting down to it and a lot of imagery that you affiliate with that. Like each bottle was a shaman. <laughs> but you know, bottom line, it was just sugar and garbage. Yeah. And who knows the amount of actual vitamins or what it what it None. purported. No. Enough to maybe technically be in there, but does it last in the bottle? Mm -mm. Does it change you? No. No. Oh, I guess I take that back. There's got to be some because I remember Sobe in school. Like really, my strongest memory of this drink is – having it be an option in a vending machine or at lunch. Like they must have had some public school deal. I remember being at Quiznos as far <laughs> as like the fountain drinks. Yeah, I'm going to eat this 3,000 calorie sandwich and five cookies. But hold on. What about a Sobe lean <laughs> to balance it all out? Oh, I, I'm an American consumer. <laughs> Sobe itself has changed. And I do wonder if what happened in 2015 sent them packing in a way. Maybe, mm -hmm. maybe not. A lot of bottlers and a lot of drinks, they would have contests. You open up a bottle and inside it, it would have a code mm -hmm. or yeah. it would say something. Are you going to match this or that? In 2013, so we created a contest called Message in a Bottle, which allowed people to submit messages for the bottle caps. Okay. Fun. Fun. Interesting. Mm -hmm. And somebody, which, again, this is funny, but also probably not something you should put in your bottle cap, mm -hmm. where it said, help, I'm trapped in the Sobe factory. <laughs> and if you're somebody who's a concerned human, or if you're a conspiracy theorist, and I, you know, I, I don't really... A lot of credence to most conspiracy theories I don't lend a lot of. Mm -hmm. But something like this, it's like, oh, I could see somebody getting a little bit like, wait, what's – is is that something? Yeah. Or, you know, somebody's like, no, 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 no. Pepsi <laughs> is our parent company. Would we do anything to hurt anybody? <laughs> no. Yes. So Absolutely. owned by PepsiCo. So, you know, there's yeah, no yeah. – probably no loss there. It's just another For another sure. arm. For sure. Strong arming the consumer mm -hmm. into drinking something that mm -hmm. doesn't do anything for you. Yeah. But you open a, a can of Snapple, let's say, and you see, you know, they have their typical stuff under their caps, which is like a statistic about a panda. And then you open a Sobe and you see, help, I'm trapped in the Sobe factory. It's a very different experience than you expect. Because you can open another one and say, it's time for a break. 
This episode is brought to you by Candy Crush Saga. The new year can be pretty hectic, so take a little time for yourself with the ultimate holiday treat, the classic Match 3 Puzzle Candy Crush Saga. And right now, you can still catch the limited-time event Sweet Surprise Season with sweet surprises running throughout the new year. Don't miss out. Play Sweet Surprise Season in Candy Crush Saga and crush it this new year, now until January 9th. Download from the App Store, Google Play, or Windows Store for free. Terms and conditions apply. Finding the right person for the job isn't easy. Just ask someone who hired a lounge singer to be their office receptionist. Hello, this is Mickey Marquis, and you've reached the office of Doug and Associates. <laughs> Thank you very much. Catch me Tuesday nights at the Hotel Johnson. Hello? But if you've got an insurance question, you can always count on your local GEICO agent. They can bundle your policies, which could save you hundreds. Doug and Associates, this is Mickey Marquis. Hello? For expert help with all your insurance needs, visit geico.com slash local today. People online were like finding these bottle caps. It wasn't just one. It wasn't just one isolated one. There's many examples. Oh, my God. I wish I would have known about this at the time. Aaron Kaiser tweeted, not sure if serious or at Sobe being sarcastic. I call upon at Schwarzenegger to help rescue this poor soul. So people were concerned. And is it funny? Yeah. I mean, come yeah, on. It's, very it's, it's funny. a funny, interesting thing. Like but also, it. it's one of those things where you wonder, like, oh, this is the one. If you watch the movie, you're like, this is the one shot to, like, get your message out there. But who's mm-hmm. going to believe it? Mm-hmm. And what if it's that one thing? Highly likely that it's not, mm-hmm. of course, and just something that's funny. But I don't know. I'm sure you got other messages as suggestions and didn't put it there. Yeah. I might hope anyway. Yeah. Like, I, I like this. Like, I, I love this conceit. But I, for a company that's owned by Pepsi, it's a bad move. But also, I love people fixating on it. It's starting a conversation. We're doing an episode on it. It was successful in some way. Yeah, I don't know if it was positive or negative or if it was just people going, huh. Because even in 2015, obviously, they stopped tweeting like a year later. Mm-hmm. It was probably on its way out, right? Were you thinking about Sobe in in 2015? No, no. no. I think of it in the 90s, and like you said, it started in 97. I'm already aging it, you know? I mean, Naomi Campbell's dancing with some some geckos. Remember, (laughs) everyone loved geckos. (laughs) It's very true. And those technochrome shirts, the the color forms that change. When did geckos take over (laughs) advertising? I mean, it worked, apparently. Yeah, why do we like geckos as a society? Some of the other... Messages found under the caps were marry me, and that's what she said. I understand you, you want to be clever, that, yeah, but it just they watched work. an episode of The Office from 2007, and we're like, ha, 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 Confusing. marketing their message back because people were like, hey, what's up with this? I don't know. I know somebody who worked mm-hmm. at Sobe, and I haven't heard from them. I don't know what the case may be, yeah. but some of their responses were, hi there. We're sorry that our cap slogan caused you concern. That was certainly not our intention, the company wrote. These sayings are intended to give our consumers a little smile or pause for thought, not offense, while they enjoy their favorite Sobe beverage, the company wrote. There's so many phrases that could give a normal, everyday consumer a smile, I would say. Many, many options. I like this marketing campaign, but I get how it is incredibly confusing. Yeah, and also it's maybe don't gouge people for a low quality product yeah and try to make the most amount of money that would that would put a smile on my face not saying marry me <laughs> exactly these cap slogans as they called it what i'm like yes oh, cool. yeah i'll marry you bottle cap now what <laughs> exactly i know it's a half-baked thought very very bad bad work Sobe. They went on to say, we are planning on removing this cap slogan from our current rotation however it will take a while for existing stock to run to the market so I guess they – I don't know how many they had in there. They're like, don't worry. This will eventually peter out and please keep drinking our products and ignore it and keep drinking. Don't look at the caps. Don't look at any wording affiliated with whatever you're drinking. Just keep giving us your money blindly. Please no dialogue online or off about it. Now, I know you love and I th- – think people listening love a nice list you love a nice (laughs) list right when i read a nice list Uh, of soby products i'm very somber i often don't lose my shit at a list you've got soby key qi the key is it chi Chi? is it chi i think it's chi so soby chi great very clear what that is that was key like key gong like soby key oh i knew uh a woman in college whose name was 
chi which is qi okay so Chinese, but i don't i mean anyway if you drink the sobe you, all all questions are answered great <laughs> sobe adrenaline rush <laughs> we go from chi to adrenaline rush classy um do you have fear well i got sobe no fear <laughs> what does that taste like not fear uh sobe elixirs 3c again i guarantee you you know what it's calcium cartonine and Choline or something like yeah, that. It's something some like that. Horrific. Will make my heart burst. Mm, what about Sobe Eros? <laughs> is it from the gods? Is it Latin? I don't know what's this happening. Is co-opting so many cultures. I'm so confused. And this one is just Power Line. Not even Sobe. It's just called Power Line. <laughs> that tastes like um, grass and blood. You know what they need? You need to drink this at Woodstock 99 for sure. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely, for sure. Absolutely. Bring a six pack. You will not want to miss this. Sobe Synergy? I mean, that I assume is just like wa- water-ish. Sobe Nirvana? Of course. Great, great. Sobe Special Recipes? I don't know. <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? Everything about this company's marketing is confusing. Sobe Essential Energy? Okay. Sobe Ice? Oh. <laughs> That's just like a Gatorade ice. Sobe Zen Blend? Green tea? Um. Hey, dummy, how about some Sobe Wisdom? <laughs> What does that taste like? It, it probably doesn't taste like Sobe Superman. <laughs> I One bet word. They're all, they're all like kiwi. The other flavor of this time is like a kiwi strawberry, like an intense kiwi strawberry. We got Sobe Good. Is it great? No. Is it bad? No. Good. Sobe Dragon? Of course. Aren't they all Sobe Dragons? <laughs> That's kiwi for sure. Sobe Love Bus Brew. <laughs> That's kiwi too. The person that got trapped in the factory was making that, I bet. <laughs> and they went too – they learned too much. They went too far. What the hell? Sobe oolong tea? That's pretty normal. That's pretty straightforward. Yeah. <laughs> and they were like, fuck it. Let's just tell them what the hell's in here. Oh, you got one normal one? How about Sobe lizard lava? No. <laughs> you get, Sobe lizard, lizard lava. Lava? Just pick, an Im- pick a compound thing from the world. Just one. Uh-oh. How about some Sobe lizard fuel? <laughs> The line of Sobe lizards? Sobe lizard lightning? Sobe black and blue berry brew? Sobe long john lizards grape grog? This is, you're just making this shit up. You're making this up at this point. And according to their website, it seems there's only seven flavors total. After okay. all that, after churning God. out life water, Jesus. this lizard, that arrow. Sitting in a boardroom, like crowdsource like just trying to figure out all this absolutely dumb bullshit there's only seven now there's just seven flavors they've narrowed it down the website's still active but people seem to wonder and other news outlets are like hey what happened to sobe and there's somebody like yeah we still we're still here <laughs> okay. this reminds me of i worked on a game show where you just had to list ridiculous things and some are real and you're in a ball pit and you if you think something's real you like have to lurch through the ball pit to get to the buzzer this would be a great that you'd be like but they're all right <laughs> black, a black and blue lava liqueur and- four leaf clover cloud effect real i'm not gonna say pepsi is just writing all this off as, <laughs> as a tack like some kind of tax shelter Did thing someone's nephew just had this idea some rich guy's nephew was like yeah you can have a line of energy drinks i mean i know jeff Cad. jeff sobe did but listen <laughs> His brother, Jeff uh, Lizard Lava Oolong Tea. It's a family name. <laughs> it's a okay, family name. Off. 